Happening now, the Clearwater Marine Aquarium on pace for a record it does not want to break. The number of injured sea turtles they're now having to take in. Our Jason Beisel tells us what's causing most of the injuries and what you can do to help. Say hello to Coco, a 110-pound sea turtle now living at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. She is blind, so she can't be released in the wild. Coco lost her sight after a boat's propeller severed her optical nerve. Since she's blind, she can't forage to find her food anymore. And that's why she must stay here. It's the only way she can survive. Sadly, Coco's not alone. Um, they come in with a variety of different injuries, but specifically this month, we are seeing a lot of boat strikes. Now an ambassador, Coco is putting a spotlight on turtle injuries. Last year, CMA took in a record 56 injured sea turtles. In less than six months this year, they've already treated 33. Two died. It's just a competition with the turtles and boaters. Um, unfortunately, um, turtles don't rake very high up uh, compared to a boat, so they get injured quite a bit. Some of the turtles that come in here to the aquarium become what they call floaters, meaning their injuries are so bad that they cannot dive for food. Therefore, they can't be released back into the wild. If they actually break their shell, um, they can begin to float. And when they float up the surface, some of them can't overcome that. Aquarium trainers say boaters just need to be more aware. Sea turtles come to the surface for air, so always be on the lookout for one popping out of the water. If you do hit a turtle or find one injured, call the aquarium stranding line. The faster we respond, the more likely we might be able to save, save it. Leading to more success stories like Coco's. Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.